Thank you very much, and uh, thank you very much, uh, Wale, for giving me a good point to start. So I know that I'm starting from a very disadvantaged point, Fanel and I, but I hope that by the time I go through this debate, you will be able to change to the other side. And before I start, it's very important that we understand what this topic is all about. So it says adolescents of all ages should be able to independently consent to sexual and reproductive health services and research. So we are saying that a 10 year old should walk into this facility, find a healthcare provider who is not well trained in the adolescent health services, and they tell them, oh, hello, are you sexually active? And this 10 year old looks and says, what does it mean to be sexually active? So that's what Wally is telling us. Next slide, please. Okay. I can do it. Yes. So this is highly scandalous, and you don't need to append your name to such a scandal. So I want to appeal to you to vote no. So let's go to the definitions of sexual and reproductive health. I looked at the WHO definitions, but I chose the Mary Stops definition because I thought it was simple and easy to understand. So we are saying, and Wally is telling us, that this 10-year-old should be free to decide who to have sex with. They should also be free uh, to think about unplanned pregnancies. Among all the things they're trying to learn in school, in Africa we learn about the Alps in Switzerland, the Canadian prairies, and in addition to that, you want to overload them with this information because the motion says all adolescents. For the many years I've been in the HIV program, most times we talk about sexual and reproductive health. It's about contraceptives, you saw all this slide. Safe abortion, but is that all that there is to sexual and reproductive health? So this is my opponent. <laughs> And the youth, the youth in this, in this room with that jacket and the poster, they would say, man, this is a bad guy, meaning that he's actually cool. And what is this cool guy telling us? He is not telling you the hidden meaning behind the agenda in this motion. Wale is telling us that our young adolescents, because the motion says all, that do it and don't tell your parents or guardians about it. He's, he's also telling us that when someone does it to you, and you know what I'm talking about, silently handle it, and then we get surprised that there are a lot of mental health issues among adolescents. This is a story about a 10-year-old, and this story in the U.S. has raised a lot of debate about a 10-year-old who was raped and had to undergo an abortion. And when you read the report, it says this was a 10-year-old child. So just because we as medical people, we choose to categorize and say 10 to 19 as adolescents and we begin to assume that they are old enough to make decisions on their own, doesn't take away the fact that a 10-year-old is still a child. This child was raped twice, so someone did it to them, and they were silent the first time. They were silent the second time, because we are saying, be independent. Don't go to your parent, don't go to your guardian. And before they realized it, she was six and a half weeks, and a 10-year-old had to go and undergo an abortion. Is this how liberal we want to be with sexual and reproductive health? Say no to this scandal, please, and vote no. <laughs> Now, we also have some statistics. As of 2019, yes, we know that adolescents 15 to 19 year old 
about 21 million pregnancies occurred. Most of these are unintended. They lead to an unwanted abortions. But let us not also remember that there are 1.2 billion adolescents. And these 21 million and the statistics that Wole has presented is about 1.7% of all the adolescents. So while we do not undermine the challenge, can we also focus on the positive messages for the other, the biggest majority of the adolescents? And when you read the WHO website, where Wole works, by the way, it says that the causes of early pregnancy that he well explained on his slide is low education level, economic status, status employment issues, sexual abuse, ineffective policies, low access to contraceptives. Parents do not know, are not talking to their children about sex. And my question is, when you look at the sexual and reproductive health package, is it really addressing the issues? Are we focusing our interventions on the real problems? I would say no. <laughs> it's very important. It's very, very important that when we talk about sexual and reproductive health, we must hit the right target. And my opponent, Wole, is not new to hitting targets. So why is he doing the opposite in this debate? When you read the World Health Organization, I, when I read this statement from Wole, because that's where he works, I felt very calm, very calm, because it is talking about exactly what we need. Age appropriate, age appropriate for God's sake, comprehensive sexuality education, develop skills. It's not about condoms, family planning all the time. The young people in this room will tell you that the employment issue is a big challenge. It causes vulnerability that leads to commercial sex work. So why don't we address the right things? A safe and a supportive environment, and we are saying that we should let them be independent. As I wind up, we were told by the great poet this morning that kids have outgrown the box. They need new interventions and they need our support. So I'm here to tell you that Wale does not mean what he says. Because this paper where Wale is an author says that psychosocial support interventions are important. So why is Wale lying to us that <laughs> Children should be independent in this decision making. So do not append your name to this scandal. Please vote no. And as I end, as I end, we know that there are interventions where parents have been involved because of time I won't explain. These have shown that when parents are involved, sexual and reproductive health issues are better addressed. So can we desexualize sexual and reproductive health and address the real issues? Thank you very much. Do not append your name to the scandal. Please vote no.